What is a concrete plastic shrinkage crack? Let's look at plastic shrinkage cracks first. Plastic shrinkage cracks are more likely to form on exposed surfaces of freshly poured concrete, particularly in hot or windy weather conditions. They are named plastic shrinkage cracks because they develop while the concrete is still in a plastic state. Typically within the first 24 hours after pouring, when the concrete is still wet. It's worth noting that these cracks can also develop under normal weather conditions, especially when using high strength concrete mixes. This is because these mixes often have a lower water content, making them drier and more prone to rapid moisture loss, which can lead to the formation of plastic shrinkage cracks. Let's better understand this by looking at an example of a concrete slab element. When concrete is placed, the larger aggregates settle and water is pushed up to the surface, a process known as concrete bleeding. This is a beneficial phenomenon as it helps to reduce plastic shrinkage cracks by keeping the exposed surface wet for a longer period of time. However, on a hot or windy day, or when using high strength concrete with insufficient bleed water, the surface evaporation rate can exceed the bleeding rate. As a result, the surface may begin to dry out and shrink locally, eventually leading to the formation of random shrinkage cracks. Plastic shrinkage cracks are typically short, ranging from 30 centimeters to 1 meter in length, and appear randomly distributed across the surface of the concrete. While these cracks may not be immediately visible Good. on the day of pouring, they often appear within the next day. Now, the question is, how can we prevent plastic shrinkage cracks? There are various control measures. For example, on hot days, alcohol-based chemicals, known as evaporative retarders, can be applied to reduce the evaporation rate and prevent excessive moisture loss from the surface. It is important to apply evaporative retarders only after the concrete has stopped bleeding. If applied too soon, the bleed water can wash away the chemical, rendering it ineffective. We may also need to apply multiple layers to ensure that the surface is properly sealed. There is a common misconception that spraying water on the surface of plastic concrete is an effective way to control plastic shrinkage cracks. However, this is only a short-term solution, as the water will quickly evaporate, allowing the cracks to develop. See you in the next video. Teletraining produces the most practical content for the construction industry.